I now am going to go through a demonstration of showing you how Google Forms work. And how I would do this is, again, I'm going to have to enter and open up my Google Documents. And this brings me to the page where I have all my forms and all my documents, anything that I have saved in in Google. Now, earlier, I've done a quick survey um, that I'm going to have you fill out today. I'm going to send you a quick survey. It's going to be an email for Web 2.0 participants. And in this survey that I've already completed, you'll put in your last name, your first name. You'll answer the question, does your school allow students to use smartphones in school? Does your school have Wi-Fi access in all classrooms? And then through a drop-down box, you're going to make the decision of who makes the decision about what sites are allowed in your school. And you'll have a choice between IT person, superintendent, principal, teacher, or some combination of the, of the above. And when you're completed with it, you'll, you'll, select, you'll submit the click the submit button. So just to start this out, I'm going to go ahead and complete this survey as a demonstration. Does your school allow students to use smartphones in school? I'm going to say no. Does your school have Wi-Fi access in all classrooms? I'm going to say yes. And who makes the decision about what sites are allowed in school? I'm going to say it's the IT person. And then I'm going to submit this. And it says, thanks, your responses will now appear in my spreadsheet. So if I would go back to my Google Docs, you'll see that instantly it gave a timestamp, last name, first name, and my answers. So all of your information is going to come right here to me. So to demonstrate for you or show you one that was previously done, I am going to... Um, open up a sample of a Google form I've done in prior workshops. And this Google form has 35 answers. So here is a sample of the Google form that I've had other participants use. And you can see it's similar to the one I've had for you. I just get, have other questions for them, for these individuals who are doing it. So if I actually went to the spreadsheet that people have answered, previously I had sorted these by their position in the school district. But let's say I wanted to sort them by the last name. I just go over here. I can choose sort by the last name. And you can see, just like with Excel, it's going to sort all the people's names. These are the various dates that people have filled it out and times to the second, by the way. <clears throat> their last name, first name, and then their answers that they gave on the, on the various questions that I asked them to answer. Now, what I'm going to do next, so you will receive this email from me where you're going to complete that um, quick survey of web 2.0 participants but I'm also going to teach you how to make a form for yourself you go again to new and you go down here to form and it and it has to have a title so let's just put a title in here is sample form this is one that I'm going to ask you to duplicate just like I'm doing the default comes up here and it lists name well, I always like to change that, and I just go over here to this pencil on the right side, and I change it from name to last name, because I want them to have the last name different from the first name so that I can sort by last name. I'm going to make this a required question, and, I, and I'm finished with that. Then I'm going to go to the next question, and they give me, they always have two that they start with, and I'm going to edit this one, and I'm going to put first name. Again, I'm going to make that a required question, and I'm going to say done. Now I'm going to add an additional question. 
and I'm gonna I can make it a text question, a paragraph text, a multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list or scale. And I'm gonna make it a multiple choice question. And the question is gonna be is what season is it now? And my choices, of course, are gonna be the fall the four seasons. Fall, winter, and I'm just clicking in the next box to bring another box up. Spring, summer. And then when I've got all my answers in there, I say done, and now I have a multiple choice answer. So I'm going to add another question, which is going to be a text question, because I'm just going to want a short text answer. And the question is going to be, what temperature do you think it is right now outside? And then they will just put their answer in there. And I'm going to say, done for that. So I have a, a sample form that has last name, first name, what season is it now, and what temperature do you think it is right now? Now I can view the published form here by clicking on form. So I'll click on that. And let's see what happens when I can view this finished form.